Now, if we're talking about the same scenarios, but this time we're over on central nervous system. Before it was peripheral or sensory neurons, five senses, your nerves. Now we're going into brain, spinal cord, motor, or moving neurons. What is the output? So once that sense goes in, what happens next? So same scenario about this kid, Ethan, walks through his house, steps on a game piece. The game piece is, how, is, is sharp, quickly lifts his foot, shouts out, grabs the bottom of his foot with both hands and starts jumping up and down. So if we're talking about what's the first action. So after he feels that pain, that sense, then he, we're going to say, Ethan says, ouch, let's spell it correctly, spells ouch, and the output signal is his mouth muscles moving this would be his tongue and his diaphragm and when we're talking about diaphragm that's that muscle that is kind of in the middle of your body that band and choir teachers usually tell you to sit up straight that's what controls your breathing so he's going to use that to shout so the moving is his muscles and his tongue diaphragm to shout then we're going to say Ethan then grabs his foot with both hands and he hops on the other foot. Now, if we're talking about what is the output, what is the action that's happening? Well, he's sending output signals to his muscles in his hands, legs, and arms to be able to hop on one foot. If we're going on to scenario two. This is where Lindsay sees this beautiful red cardinal in the backyard eating food from the bird feeder. She picks up her camera to take a picture, but the bird is gone when she looks back at the bird feeder. Again, we know she takes in the sight, but what's what happens next? Well, the output would be after seeing the bird Lindsay picks up her camera. So after the signal went in, the sight to her from her to her from her nerves into her brain, what then happens is she picks up the camera. But we've got to say what is moving, what is the output. So the output signal is her hands and arms moving to do this. Students then completed scenario three on their own.